Good evening. Tewksbury Zoning Board of Appeals for December 19, 2019 is in session. First item on the agenda, approval of the minutes from November 21st, 2019. I make a motion to approve the meeting minutes from November 21st, 2019. I'll second the motion. Hold on, we got a little discussion here. On the first motion, um, it's listed as Rain. Ray was voting. Ray wasn't here. You were here. Yes. So we'll make a correction to change the first one from Lasinski yeah. to Texera. E T E I X. Twice. No, no, that's correct. That's just a spelling. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so that was just on uh, the the JP BRE Ventures LLC. So it was the first motion we made on page one of four. The rest of it is correct. Good catch. So a motion has been made with corrections. <clears throat> I make a motion. You a minute. All right. I'll second. And second. All in favor? Aye. 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 the first continued hearing, and then we had a letter. That's, uh, all right. First continued hearing is JP BRE Ventures LLC for a modification of an existing variance, which are recorded at book 3015, page 195, and book 3278, page 328, to allow two separate single family dwellings on one lot where three dwellings now exist. As shown on plans filed with this board, said property is located at 155 Pleasant Street, assessment map 47, lot 39, zone residential. We have a letter asking for a withdrawal from the applicant. That's a very small letter. So um, if somebody would like to make a, a motion to approve a withdrawal without prejudice. <clears throat> I'd like to make a motion to withdraw without prejudice the JPBRE Ventures LLC for the modification of its existing variants, which are recorded on book 3015, page 195, and book 3278, page 328, to allow two separate single family dwellings on one lot where three dwellings are now existing, as shown on plans filed with this board. Said property is located at 155 Pleasant Street, Associates Map 47, lot 39, zoned residential. Okay, motion has been made. Second. And second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous vote. Okay. First new hearing. <clears throat> John and Erica Ludd. That's us. Not bad. For variance under section 4130, table of dimensional requirements, rear yard setbacks of the Tewksbury zoning bylaws to construct an addition to an existing single family home consisting of a first floor garage and office, second floor living space, and third floor bedroom and bathroom as shown on plans filed with this board. Said property is located at 16 County Road, assesses map 105, lot 20, zone residential. If you would, please come up and sure. sit at the big table in the front. Thanks for staying late today, guys. Appreciate it. Get used to it. If you don't mind, name and address for the record, please. John Lund. Erica Lund. 16 County Road, Tewksbury, Mass. Thank 01876. You. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Uh, we're looking to, uh, we love Tewksbury, we want to stick around, we want to do an addition, family's growing, and we're looking to do a uh, decent sized addition to keep us there, we don't want to move. That's about it. And you're going to be It's going to be the, uh, yep, it's going to have an office. Uh, we're coming over, um, 
Uh, I think what we're going to leave is about six and a half feet that will be left um, from right to, um, if you're coming off the right side of the house, there'll be six and a half feet, um, as opposed to the 10 that I think is needed. Um, and then it's, it is, like you said, it's going to come up from, uh, so we have a, a garage, above the garage we have a first floor living area, and then a second floor bedroom and bathroom area. Now, did you change what you originally tried to get a permit for? Because your denials... No, we didn't even go for a permit. Well, your denial yeah. letter says the proposed addition would only be four feet from the rear setback. Uh, the rear setback is... Uh, I'm looking at the, to the right of the house now. Six feet. Oh, see here. to the fireplace. <laughs> The, the fireplace with a bump out does make it the four feet. To the fireplace, okay. Yep, you're right. I didn't see that up in the top there. All right. <clears throat> Are you saying so, this is gonna be three so stories tall? It's going to be, it's two. The, the first floor is garage, right above that. So I guess it is gonna be three, it's, yes. But the current house is a Cape Gambro, so it already is three, so it's we we'll just match them. It's already there. We match them. It's already there. Uniform. Okay. Do you know how tall your house is? Um, I could find out. Or more importantly, the proposed the big plan. I could tell you right now. You guys got a copy of the plans? No, it wasn't in the checklist. Okay. We actually didn't need them to value again tonight as far as the rear yard setback. That's all we really need to look at. Want me to give it to you? Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's see. So, all right, two feet three and a quarter inches. That's what the foundation is showing. Seven feet quarter inch. <coughs> One foot half inch. Eight feet. Eight feet one and eighth inches. And then to the top here is the question. Your foundation is below grade? Or is that two foot? So there's no basement. It's only, it's just going under, I believe it's uh, four feet, the foundation. Okay. And then it comes so up. The, yeah, so there's no. So the measurement you gave me a two foot, three and three quarter, that's all above ground? That's above ground. Okay. Right. I have a smaller copy of my folder of this if you want to see it. Yeah, that's above ground. And then we have from that eight and um, an eighth inch, we have another um, area that goes up on the roof that I don't have on here. Uh, I could get for you. Well, the only reason I asked yeah. is you gave me two, two foot, three and three quarter, seven foot, one quarter inch, yep. one foot, half inch, yep. eight foot even, yep. eight foot, one and an eighth. Correct. So if, you, so if you just go with the feet, two, seven is nine, one is 10, eight is 18, and then the other eight is 26, mm -hmm. right? And then you said there's something you don't now have. Now you have the roof line. And so you that's, have the roof line. Yeah, so there's, it's gonna go higher than that, what, but they don't have that on here. What caught my attention, and you're saying that's, that's as high as the house, the house that's there now. That Correct, there. without going any higher, yep. We're just making it uniform. What gets my attention is, um, I, think it was, I think it was in the um, agenda. 
It's a third floor, whatever you had up there, bed, bedroom and a bathroom. Yeah. On a residential, we've got two and a half stories, 35 feet tall. So that's what caught my attention. So as long as you're, as long as you're um, attic, if you will, yeah, is less than nine feet. You're probably right in there. So that it probably is. If this is to scale, then it looks like it will be. Okay. Um, okay. Probably significantly less than nine feet. Yeah, maybe not to the peak. Yeah, maybe not to the peak. But okay, I'm I'm satisfied. You. Yep. You're, you're probably in the ballpark. But we just don't. Yep. In Tuxbury, we don't hear a lot of on the third floor. Right. No, I hear you. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's a newer construction. It's only seven years old. Right. Steve Mullane built it. I don't know if you know you Steve. You want to see a picture of it? There's a picture on this. It's a Kate Gambro. <laughs> oh, I believe you. I believe everything you yeah. <laughs> unless, unless the board members want to see the pictures. No. Are you sure? It's really nice. I'm sure. We okay. hope. We hope. <laughs> Well, if we look at them, we got to take them from you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you paid a lot of money for them. We got plenty of them. <clears throat> so, how old is the house itself? Um, seven, years? seven years. Seven years. Seven years. So, it was a new home build? It was yeah. Seven, yeah. I want to say 2013, mm -hmm. possibly. I think I tried to. Uh, the old house did they yeah. used to be an old house yeah, yeah. the old one yeah. probably and pops up facing the other way it's different facing it was on county so right now we're on the corner of Iowa I think it was right county. so yeah. we so can't even get a county. pizza delivered because they all think that it's on the uh we're, on we're facing Idlewild yeah our front door is on Idlewild yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so you're the first owner of the house because it says you bought it in 2013 yeah yep okay obviously on town storage Yes. Hmm. Natural gas, everything is, is new and updated. What's um, what's behind you? Another house. How and that, let me tell you right now, that is, let's see if you're looking at it for county. So we back up to the main road, Salem Road. There is, um, let's see, one second, 30.2 feet back from, from the new addition is the fence, is the property line. Is the fence? Is the, the, there's a fence in between us and the next people behind us. So that fence is 32 feet away from the back of your house? 30.2 feet. Really? Yeah. Counts your road out of the wild. I'm looking at it right. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see. No, it's, it's what it says in your... Yeah, 30.2 right. feet, right? Yeah. 30.2 feet from the proposed deck. Right. It's probably 32 feet now, right? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We were talking about the four feet. Yeah, that's on the right side. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm not looking at the side because it's 30 feet. Okay, yeah, no, that's... To the right side, it's... it's to the back, where we have this four-foot setback. Right. What's behind that? That is an empty lot. Or did, or did I say it wrong? Am I looking it's at to the, the right, right of the house. Yeah, yes. if you're looking at the, to the right of the house. Yep. So if you weren't counting the fireplace, which you are, but it's six feet, um, and then at that six feet is another um, plot of land that's just land. There's no house there. Nothing. Nothing. Who owns the land? Uh, McDade. Private got, party. Private party. He said he would even come and represent us. He was he was on board with the whole thing. Yep, I talked to him on the phone. Do we have a letter from him? Um, uh, you did, we was, sent one and he just called and said. I there was, there was a bunch of. Neighbors and letters, yeah. yeah. There was a bunch of neighbor letters. That's oh, right. yeah, that's what we, so. Is he on that? I went through um, it. He is not on that because we he lives in Andover. So we sent a return receipt to see if he would answer us. And he did. And he just called um, John. I think this is. Yeah, over. actually, I'm right here. Oh. I have no Oh, well, nice to meet you, and thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Only had nice things to say. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind, when we open it to the public, because we have a, a section where we open it to the public, 
if you wouldn't mind coming up and stating your name and address when we ask for it. Okay. If you don't mind, please. Thank you. Thanks, Paula. Yeah. All right. Any more questions, board members? I don't have any. Who's voting on the stand on this? What's up? Who's voting on you? You. No question. You. Regular board members on this one. I'm an associate. Mm -hmm. They're both on. Yeah, permit number No. It's just me. Good. Sorry to disappoint. Right. Yes, I missed the last meeting. I thought I was going to be put on the bench. <laughs> no? Drive right back in. I'll tell you what I'm, what's going through my mind here, and I can't, I don't know if it's um, a different zoning or what this is. You're here for a, a four foot setback from your side yard, I guess. Correct, yes. <clears throat> but according to this print that you gave us. Yep. County Road. We're on a corner, obviously. Yes. That road. Our front door faces Idlewild. I don't know if that's the confusion or not, even though our address is county. Our front door is Idlewild. Because the old house old, used to face county. Here's, here's what I'm wondering. Here's what I'm wondering. You're on a corner lot. Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to have 150 feet of frontage, right? On each. You don't know this, but yep. you need 150 feet of frontage on each side. You get 80 and 80. And I'm looking at your application, and it says there's no, you've never been here before for this property. No. So the, 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 the property, I believe, is new, but the lot has been there for many years. Correct. Right? Yep. Yep. There used to be an old They've knocked it down. 50, 60 year yeah. house right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're giving you. If you read your application, it says you have 160 feet of frontage. <clears throat> but normally on corner lots, you would need two frontages. You need 150 on both. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, no, where are you saying no, that? No, no, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You would need, on 150 on both, you would need two front yard setbacks. That's what you would need. And you have it. You got 23, which isn't enough. 27.9. Well, we don't know what this one is. You got to go by the furthest. 23. Right? That's, that's why we got four here and not. But six. their address is county, not idle wild. Right, but it's still a front yard because it's still, that's still a road. Still facing that way? It's still a road. You face the road. You picture a regular house in the middle of the road. They're only facing one road. Put a corner in there. They're facing two roads. Not to be concerned. I'm just kind of talking <laughs> Good, this out. Good, because I'm hitting my stomach right now. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to the building commissioner, what we work off of is his denial letter, and his denial, because he knows this a lot better than we do. His denial was your four-foot setback. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that's all it was. Okay. I'm just. And they uh -oh. may not have gotten a variance, but the builder may have gotten it before they purchased. That would be on the application. Would it? But yeah, it would say. Um, it's on here somewhere. It's not agreed. Frontage of 160. Side setback of 6.4 mm -hmm. and 3. Well, there used to be a spot on the application. So are they coming up with the 160 because they're adding yeah. the 80 and the 80? Seven on page two. Has the applicant made a previous appeal involving this property of the board? No. Well, the applicant may not have, but it may be a you, new applicant, the previous owner of the 
Right. Yeah, yeah, Steve, well, Steve Elaine. would be aware of that. Right. Yeah. Previous contract from the owner. Right, but we would know that. They, they would tell us that. Right. I'll, I'll do some homework and educate myself. Because it might be, it might have been like a cluster zoning because it's so new. Mm -hmm. But they, they call it out as residential R40, which brings us right to here. Right? Cut and dry. Yeah. If it was cluster zoning, it gets down into one of these somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right. Any more questions, board members? I have a quick question. Yes. So it, it, in the, the building commissioner denied because of that four-foot setback, right? Yep, that was if, it. if we just were allowing that variance for the four-foot setback, does the building commissioner reevaluate everything else? I don't Again, think so. I think you've already evaluated so it. So everything should be good everything should with be the good. exception of the four-foot setback? Okay. Meaning, so like we can't put that fireplace in there? No, 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 no. You'll be fine. Okay. Let me explain to you where I was going. We have this yep. book, right? R40 is if you look at your application, yep. question number three, premises affected in zoning district, residential R40, right? That's your application. Okay. Yep. That takes us right here. Minimum lot, one acre. Minimum frontage, 150 feet. Minimum front yard, 25 feet. Minimum side yard, 15. Uh, maximum height, 2.5 stories. 35 feet, right? Simple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then it has a, another lot coverage. So this is what got me. Minimum frontage, 150 feet. Right. You're on two different roads. Mm -hmm. So most properties would have 150 feet on that side, and 150 feet on this side. Mm -hmm. What they did on yours is you have 80 and 80, and they called it 160. Right. Okay? You have two frontages, because you face two streets. Right. So your minimum front yard is 25. You have steps at 23 on um, idle wheel, I, I, yep. the street over there. Yep. And you don't give me a dimension on the other side off a of county road. I assume it's a lot. I assume mm -hmm. you're 50 feet anyways. Yeah, that's, yeah. Quite a bit. Yep. So the, that's what got me. Your minimum side yard is 15. And that would be what we're, side and rear is 15. So that's where you need it? No, that 15 would be based off of 10,000 plus square footage, wouldn't it? No. It's not? Okay. Because no. your house wasn't built in like 80s or something, late 80s. Okay. 10,000 square feet or less. All right, because that, uh, I just wanted to bring it to your attention that the new one is saying 9,000. Well, I don't have the new plot plan, just so you know. I don't have. 1992. Say that again? It says right here, 1992. No. What did, what did you say? So again? the new plot plan square footage is saying 9,000. It's under 10,000, just so you know. So on the plot plan itself, if that mattered. I'm just telling you. The, well, the under, under 10,000 was for the older houses, which are probably in your neighborhood. Yeah. But you have a new house. Right. So you really can't go with the. Uh, 10,000 square foot or less. Okay. Right? I, I don't think. I mean, 41, I'll read it to you. Right here. 41. <clears throat> Lots, 10,000 square feet or less, existing primary residence, erected prior to March 18th, 1992. Okay. So the original house probably fell under that. Yeah. You may reduce 15 foot uh, side and rear requirements to 10. And I'm, I'm okay with it. I was just explaining to you yeah, no, no, what, what I was thinking. I didn't know if it made a difference. I talked to someone in the office that was saying if you're under 10,000, then you're only talking about 10 feet. The lot size hasn't changed, but I mean, 4131 clearly, clearly says erected. Yeah, but I get it. Hmm. But even putting in the same size house that was there before, I'm sure they still wouldn't need the setbacks. <clears throat> it's 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 a quite the conundrum with the old house being yeah. there for so long, mm -hmm. and then erecting a brand new house in the same lot that's kind of undersized for the garrison house, right? Right. right. Well, 
to me, I don't see the conundrum. If you're gonna, if you're gonna tear down a house, the lot size might be smaller, but now you can't go with the setbacks. If you're gonna build a new house on an old lot, now you have to conform to the setbacks. Mm. And this house is probably situated better on the property than the original house was, but it's still not quite there, right? But that's neither here nor there right now, because all we're looking at as is the denial letter, the denial the lot, denial letter And it, it is calling out a 10 foot rear yard setback. So mm -hmm. if any board members have any more questions? No? At this time, I'd open it to the public. If the kind gentleman in the back would like to come up. If you would, if you don't mind, just state your name and address so we have it on the record. Please. Thank you for coming. Yes, appreciate it. Right here. Right up there. Just your name and address, that way we have you on record, and your opinion of it. My name is uh, Norman McDavid, I live at 52 Bailey Road, Nando, and uh, I have no objections. I think it's probably an upgrade in the neighborhood to uh, you know, expand their house. Obviously, there could be lifelong residents there, it looks like, so I have no issues. Thank you. And you are the owner of the property? I own lot, the empty lot. You own the empty lot. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Anything else you'd like to? No. Nothing? No. If somebody would like to make a motion to close both parts of the hearing. I'd like to make a motion to close both parts of the hearing. Motion has been made. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any discussion? I don't have any. Okay. If anyone would like to make a motion. I would like to make a motion to approve John and Erica Lund for variance from section 4131. Table of dimensional requirements, rear yard setbacks of the Tewksbury zoning bylaws to construct an addition to the existing single family home consisting of a first floor garage and office, second floor living space, and third floor bedroom and bathroom as shown in plans filed with this board. Said property is located at 16 County Road, Assessors Map 105, Lot 20, zoned residential. Motion has been made. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous vote. You're all set. Yay. Appreciate it, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Good you. luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good luck. I think we're up in that neighborhood. It's a really nice neighborhood. Yeah. I'm John. Dancing, Sarah. Nice to meet you. Love it. Hi, Nancy. Nice to meet you, John. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. Any old business board members? Nope. Hey. Nothing? I'd like to wish everyone a happy holiday season. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Be safe. Yeah, we won't be back. Especially on your Kirby yeah. Road. Anybody? Our next meeting is uh, January 30th of 2020. Hope to see everyone there. Be nice. Have a good time. Right. Someone like to make a motion to adjourn? I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Motion has been made. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. <laughs>